Okay, everybody, this is video number two. The first one we did safety. Now, now we're gonna talk about actually handling a gun. Again, I wanna show you, this is, my, this is my competition pistol. It's not my carry gun. You saw I had it on my side. Uh, when you get to the range and you're going to shoot, it should be empty. It should not have anything in it when you're coming from the house. Mag the mag, these, you mag check your gun, you, you check it, you drop your slide. So a lot of people have come out and they've never even put a mag in a gun. They don't know anything about it. So the first thing is this is not a clip. This is a magazine. And guns have magazines and this has no ammo in it. It's empty. But the very first thing you need to learn is that this mag goes in the, it goes in the bottom end of this gun. And that, that's what feeds the gun. Now, the first thing you need to learn is putting this in the gun. And it, there's a front and a back to it. And the front is where the bullet is, and, and most of the, every time I do it, I take my finger and put on the bullet itself. So when I pull it out of the mag pouch, it's pushing the bullet. There's no bullet in here right now, by the way. But it's pushed in there, and then I, I, I put it into the slot. I want you to watch what I'm doing. I put it in. Now, here's what you don't do. You don't just, you don't kind of push it in and then bang on it a little bit to see if it's in. Don't do that. You need to make sure, because it has ammo in it, there's going to be some resistance, and you need to put it in. And every time you do, act like you're in a firefight, because this is how you know the, the, it is in the gun now. You don't play with it. Don't, don't baby the gun. I mean, put the mag in the gun. And that way you know it's in and you're not having to bang it around. Now that, now that the mag is in the gun, the next thing I want you to learn, and you can do, learn all of this at home before you ever go to the range, is how you pick up a gun and how you grip it. People come out to the range all the time, they'll pick up a gun, they, they usually have their fish drawn up like this, then they'll take their hand and cup on the bottom of it, or they'll wrap it on the top, or they'll wrap their fingers around the back of the gun like this, and all of that is incorrect, you're not gonna shoot well. First of all, pick up the gun, and I'm gonna talk about your strong hand and your weak hand. Mine is my right hand and my left, so with my, with my right hand, when I pick up my weapon, I flag my thumb, see how this looks? That means, see this space here? I want that space. I want my other hand on it. And, and then, um, let, me, let me, this part of my hand right here, this meaty part of my hand, I want that in the gun right there. Now I'm gonna use my left hand only. That's what it's gonna look like when we're done. It's going to, this meaty part is gripping this grip. Now, I get this hand in here, fingers off the trigger, I got this meaty part, I'm laying this hand, look at the way my hand is pointing, my thumb is out, it's, it's cocked down, and it fits right in that hole right there. Do you see that? That means there's no dead space anywhere. Now, the next thing is I'm gonna grab these fingers and wrap them around the bottom, and I'm going to squeeze the handle or the grip of this gun, but my thumbs are not squeezed down tight like that. You're gonna miss, you're gonna mess up. You grip with this hand, you grip with this hand, and the thumbs are loose. Now, why don't we put it behind? Because if you put it behind, when this slide comes back and hits your thumb, there's a real good chance that it's going to cut your thumb. So you don't want your thumb cut, you don't want it behind there. And you don't want it down in the bottom because you don't have a grip. Just, just practice this before you ever come to the range. Get your hand in there and grip that gun, fingers off the trigger. Okay. Now, the next thing is, let me look at my thing, um, is, is, is your finger, when you bring your finger to the trigger, when you're shooting a double action like a revolver, you can take it all the way to the joint on the trigger because it's a heavy trigger. You're gonna need all of the trigger in there you can. But on a, on a semi-automatic, like a Glock or, or this CZ, I place it right in the center of the pad and I, and I put it here in the center of the pad so that when I'm ready to pull, I'm just pulling the trigger lightly like that and, and the gun goes off. Okay, so, so here's my grip. Um, here's my grip, here's my trigger, point in, Bang, okay, and the gun will go off repeatedly until, until the gun is empty. Okay, let's get rid of the mag for a minute. Um, the next thing is people ask me about how do you stand. Well, there's an old, there's an old um, 
a, a guy by the name of Weaver who started off, and he would start off with this foot here and the other foot back, and this, and, and, and he would push and pull at the same time. And that's called a Weaver stance, and this, this arm, I don't like that because this gun's going to kick anyway. Why would I want to pull a gun that's going to kick back? So I have a modified isosceles to where I'm, 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 I'm firm, I'm facing the target, I want my shoulders square to the target all the time, and so that when I present out, the gun is facing, then I have the finger on the trigger, and my, gut, my arms are not locked out, but they're slightly bent so that whenever the, the gun comes back, it's going to recoil into my arms. The next thing I want you to see is don't ever, don't ever bring your head to the gun. Bring the gun up to your eye. Boom, pull the trigger. And this stuff you can do at home where you're actually at home practicing. Get a grip on the gun, pull the gun up to your eyes, put it on the target, pull the trigger. Boom, finger off the trigger, back down, rack the slide. And you can practice this and get good at it and never, never have any ammo in the gun. I highly recommend you doing this all before you ever head to the range. That way you're saving a lot of money. Ammo's expensive for you to be out there and your grip is bad and your trigger's bad, the whole nine yards is bad and you're not doing all that well anyway. So get this down at home, learn to dry practice, learn to get a hold of your gun, bring it out, point it out what you want to point out to, finger off the trigger, back down where you were, look around where the bad guys are because bad guys travel in packs, you know that. Okay, and just get in the habit of where you point this gun and stay safe, okay? Okay, we'll be back later for a third video.